Hi, this is Frida. I would like to show you how to crochet this lovely stitch. It is called Daisy Stitch. Let's get started. What we need is, uh, I'm just going to show you a demonstration how to crochet this stitch. So I'm just using a bulky yarn. It's just acrylic. And I am using a 3.75 crochet hook. Let's get started. So we're going to be chaining a total of uh, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Join to make a circle, slip stitch. Tighten it up. chain four and we're going to be making three triple crochet so loop twice pull two at once pull the second two set of ones and then the third comes the triple crochet second third so there's a total of uh, four here chain four three four make a single crochet here at the bottom chain four again So what we did is we chained uh, four, we did three triple crochet, we did another chain four, and then we went down. So when you look at it, it looks like a total of five. So we're going to do the same as we did here. So again, three triple crochet. On this pattern you can make anything as you wish. You can make scarves, shawls, cardigans. It's a very pretty uh, stitch. It's very easy. There's no joining. So uh, it is like uh, as crochet as you go. So I'll, I'll just show you how it grows. It becomes bigger and bigger. So we're doing the third triple crochet. Here, we're not going to be making the third uh, petal, so we're going to make the fourth because we're going to be jumping from here. We're going to come back and do the remaining two, two petals here as I done it previously here. I did this. And I came back and I finished the rest and then you can go on from here but I'll well, you're going to see how it happens so from here chain total of eight okay remember we did um, we did five chain here so what we're going to do is we're going to be making a circle with the five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, oh, five. Didn't make a total of eight here. Okay, so we're going to leave the remaining four. So there's going to be a total of uh, nine stitches, not eight. So here, here is our circle here. So we're going to be chaining another four. And then what we're going to do from here is turn our work this way, this way, and then come back up here where we did the, the last triple crochet, do a, do a slip stitch. Okay, but I'll turn our work this way. 
And what we're going to do is here, we're going to fill out the petal. We're going to make petals out of here. So we're going to count these as two, two triple crochets and continue. Third. Okay, this is not supposed to go this way. It's supposed to stay this way. So I'm just going to go back and show you how that happens again. So we're going to turn our work this way. Then we're going to come here. And make a single crochet, not a slip. See, I'm going to do that, show you again. So this way, it's going to be holding. This later on, you can weave this. Then we're just going to do... So there's supposed to be th four... five so we have three and then chain four come here single crochet chain four and do a three triple crochet Oops, forgot to do two yarn over. <laughs> it happens. We don't usually do a triple crochet often. We do the double crochet. So uh, it takes a while to get used to it. The time you finish your project, you'll know. <laughs> okay. Third and the fourth. Just need to get some more yarn from here. Just grab some more yarn. Okay. See how it looks? This is the back of the work. This is the front of the work. So uh, what you can do is you can continue building up more. So what you do is again, I'll show it one more time. Chain total of nine and the five stitches to make this uh, circle and the remaining four is to count as a triple crochet. Eight, nine. Okay, let's go back. Two, four, and make a circle here. The fifth. Do a slip stitch, and then don't forget to turn your work. Chain total of four again. Three, four. Because the circles are supposed to be facing this way, so we're going to come back and do the two petals on each daisy. So, make a sing single crochet, chain four. Oh, I'm sorry, no, don't chain four. We're going to be doing a uh, one triple crochet so there, there's total of uh, 
three, chain four, single crochet, chain four, we're making the second petal, okay I just needed to get some yarn on my Here we go. So we're going to be doing three more pet, uh, three more triple crochet. Okay, from here I'm going to come back and finish finish the petals. Like uh, there's supposed to be four petals on each daisy, right? So I'm just going to come back and finish those and then build more on the other side. Okay, so. so we don't need a total of four. If you need to build up, you can... Uh, uh, crochet total of uh, four day, uh, four triple crochets but no I want to finish the daisy to make the total of uh, four so we're going to chain four single crochet another four chain Three, four. Okay, like I said, I'm going to filling the circle with four petals, so I don't need the fourth, I need to make a chain. Just showing you how this is done. So try to push the work all the way here so you can squeeze the total of uh, four petals. Four, single crochet. Chain another four. So this is going to be the last one. So we're going to be jumping from here to here. So what we need is, uh, I need to do the fourth triple crochet. And then triple crochet here. So I need to do a total of five here. This is how we jump from here to there. No chain, nothing. Just finish the fourth uh, the triple crochet and then yarn over two. Then just triple, triple crochet. Three. Four. Chain four, single crochet at the bottom, triple, uh, chain four, and then three triple crochet. Okay, this is how it. It's very fun. 
you, you won't get bored with this stitch. I'm planning to make a cardigan with this pattern, with the stitch. I haven't done it yet, but uh, I will do it. I have so many custom orders, just want to finish them. They never end. <laughs> Keeps on coming. Makes me busy. Okay now, so we did the fourth and we're going to be jumping here. So uh, yarn over twice and do four triple crochet. For some reason when I'm crocheting my hand goes to the left, goes to the top. I try to put a stop to that but it's not easy. It just goes automatically I guess. Okay, the third, the fourth. And we're going to be chaining four. See how it's done? At the beginning, if you notice, when I was chaining the eight and then trying to make a circle, the work kept on going the other way. But uh, when you, as more, as much as you built up, it won't happen. And then when you block this, it just becomes a dream. It just looks beautiful. having trouble with my uh, skin here. <laughs> Keeps on. Here we go. I just need to grab some more yarn. And then chain four. Triple crochet. I'm going to do it three times. Oh, I, can't, I don't know what I did here. So one Two, three. Okay. So I cannot chain and then stop here because I want to build up more. What uh, what we can do is we're going to be doing the fourth triple crochet. And then you can just cut this or weave it. It's up to you. So, what we can do is we can chain another eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Part on nine, nine. And then make a circle. And then grow the work and then come back and finish it. Or we can do is, we can go this way, it's up to you, you can go this way. To do that, you just, you will come back to finish this last petal. And then from here, instead of doing the three chain, what we're going to do is, we're going to be doing the fifth triple crochet and then chaining nine. then making a circle or you can go this way you can go this way or that way it's up to you but this is how this stitch grows with this nine stitches and then you always come back and finish the last petal okay, I'm just gonna grab my other one that I have crocheted here I did I went this way I went this way and I went this way and I came back to finish. I'm just going to show you how it's done. This was this the first way I showed you it can be done that way 
or I'm just gonna unravel this and show it to you how I did this one. See, I came back and did the last. So here, what I did is uh, see. Okay, from here, what I did is uh, I made. Okay, just unraveling, and I am going to show you from here how to join these two petals to a single crochet chain four chain four join from here And do three triple crochet okay we are going to be making the third daisy up here so we're going to chain nine three four six seven eight nine and then do a circle before leave the four as a, so it can be a triple crochet consider this for a triple crochet okay remember we have to have the circle looking this way so we're just going to be So hold it like this, single crochet, triple crochet, triple crochet about uh, three, three triple crochet. Uh, I'm sorry, triple crochet two more, so these would consider as um, two. Just look at the petals and you can see how many you need. Total of five. So there's three. So what we're going to do is we're going to be joining this petal from here as we did here. So just single crochet, chain four, single crochet here, S single crochet, and after single crochet, chain four. Then we're going to be joining this petal here single crochet and then triple crochet one two three and then the fourth but remember we have to chain because we're done here Let's say this is our edge of our work, so we, we want to go back and finish this work. So we're going to be uh, finishing this daisy. So I need to do a total of four petals here. To do that, I need to chain the last triple crochet. So chain four, single crochet, chain four to do the third petal. Two, three, four and then do another three triple crochet and 
and then chain four. So this chain four would be considered as triple crochet. And this is how we turn around. We're finishing this part. Chain four, triple crochet three times. Just doing as fast as I can so you can see how it's going to be done. Oops. Well, yeah, I did it right. <laughs> okay, now, so we're going to be jumping from here to here. We did our four petal. We're done. There's a total of uh, five. Each has five. So it depends if you're if you're finishing your petal, you continue chaining down and then up again. You just you use your ma imagination, just use your uh, experience how you do your crochet uh, for uh, to finish this to complete this uh, uh, daisy petal. So we're going to be jumping from here to here. So triple crochet three times and then the last one we chain single crochet chain again three four triple crochet three times Then here we're done. We're almost done. So we're doing the last here. Last daisy. So we're going to be triple crocheting. Oops, did that one wrong. Triple crochet. Three. Four. Chain four, single crochet, chain four, triple crochet. Okay. Either what you can do is, if you want to continue this way, it's up to you. It depends on what you're working on. Um, you can continue doing the nine chain and then continue continuing to building as we did it from here or um, if you're going this way you can just finish the four petals and if you're done you're almost done your project so three and chain We can go that way. It depends on really what you're working on, but mainly to grow, you just chain the nine, make a circle, make a petal, and then continue on. And when you're going this way, you just uh, join with the leaves here, these parts where you did the chain. Just join from there. I'm just going to show you how to finish this part. If you're doing, let's say, if you're doing a dish, dish cloth, you can continue like this. And how, how wide you want it, you can make as many petals you want, daisies you wish. Then do the last petal. And then jump from here to there. Two, 
three, and then the fourth. Okay. So this is how you do the daisy stitch. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share with your family and friends. Again, thank you very much for watching my tutorials.